Well, a whole lot of Americans are getting back on the road and flying the skies, trying to make up for all that lost time and the trips they missed when COVID limited our travel options. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to book something right now. So many people are jumping mm -hmm. in on that. If you need a little help deciding where to go, the Chicago Travel Show is happening this weekend at the Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont. And ahead of that, Pauline Fromer of Fromer's Travel Guide joining us now. Thank you for being with us this morning. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, happy you're here because, wow, we just had a crazy, like, travel fiasco FAA. We've had the Southwest fiasco. Yeah. You dealt with the FAA outage yeah. yesterday. Yesterday, and you know, that was the first time since 9-11 that the American airspace has been closed. So this was a major, major event. It took me five different reservations wow. <laughs> to get to Chicago, but polite persistence paid off. I just kept going up to the counter and smiling and asking how they were, <laughs> right. and they, they helped me. You didn't you know? fly off the handle, that didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that didn't help. So what is your advice to someone who might be stuck in a travel you know situation like that and you don't know what to do nowadays i think it's smarter to book directly with the airlines because those who booked with other sources had to go to those sources which would have made it harder for me to get done what i needed to get done in terms of southwest i guess my advice right now is to avoid them if you can. Mm. It's not at all clear that they have fixed the problems that they need to fix. That's going to take a while. Okay. All right, give us some inside secrets. What's the best day of the week to fly, assuming there are no <laughs> mishaps going on? And how far out in advance do you need to book that ticket to get the best deal? Well, there's a study done every year by the Airline Reporting Corporation of about 36 million fare transactions. So this, this advice is based on that. Statistically, you will get the best prices if you put down your money, so if you book on a Sunday. Hmm. Why is that? They don't say. My guess is it's because corporate travel agents don't work on Sundays, so they know you're not a business traveler, that you may or may not travel. In terms of when to book, six weeks in advance, again, based on this study, is the sweet spot. I'll be discussing this all at the Travel and Adventure Show. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. We'll yeah. get to that in just a little okay. bit. We all want a deal. I mean, when you're oh, trying boy. to travel, you're like, can I cut here? Can I cut there? So something about travel clubs. Tell us about this. There's a club that you can maybe get some deals through. Well, yeah, every uh, hotel on the planet has deals with the major booking sites, Expedia, Orbit, Travelocity, etc. And part of those deals is they cannot undercut the rates they give them significantly. But sometimes a hotel is empty. So they are giving deals to clubs that you can't search by Google. What are those clubs? If you're a lawyer, if you're a doctor, if you're a welder, your travel club through your professional organization may have some of these better deals. As well, on Instagram, there's a site called at hotels. You email them and they give you prices. Again, can't be searched by Google, so the hotels can give you better rates that way. Travel and Leisure also has a club that's good. Wow, never heard of that. You gotta check the SAG after websites. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what do we have? Exactly. You, you probably you, have one of these clubs. And you're giving away some great tips and tidbits, and you're gonna be having more of this coming up this weekend yes. out of the Stevens Convention Center. What can uh, prospective travelers look forward to if they attend the travel show this weekend? Well, I'll be there giving a speech, 3.30 Saturday, 2 okay. p.m. Sunday. So will Samantha Brown uh, from the Travel Channel and PBS. So will Peter Greenberg, CBS mm -hmm. person. Plus there's going to be booths of, of experts from all over the uh, world and everyone in the travel industry. So cruise experts, people from the Caribbean. So you can ask people with real expertise when you go. And the dirty little secret is I hang out all day at the bookstore booth. We have a wonderful Chicago indie bookstore just giving advice, meeting people, and, and book signing right books, signing books. <laughs> yeah, I know you write the guide on New York City. That's such a quick hop and a skip away from from here. Yeah. Pauline Frommer, thank you so much for all the travel tips ahead of this weekend's show. We appreciate it. Thank you.